Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello fabulous superstar Capricorn, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2022. I am your astrologer Nadia Shah, thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now and this month is jam packed with incredibly important moments that are going to speak to all of us. But for you in particular, I do think that this is likely to be an incredibly important month for you not least of which is the fact that we are going to have a full moon in your sign. On the 13th of the month, we have a powerful full moon speaking right to you, redefining you in some way for the better. Part of what makes this full moon so special, besides the fact that it's in your sign, is that it is close in the sky to Pluto. It adds that much more intensity and magnifies its transformative power. We have a harmonious connection with Neptune happening, and that represents hope. But then there's the supremely harmonious connection to Uranus, and that represents things changing very quickly in a way that will feel very fortunate to you. When we have an important lunar event in your sign, it brings forward matters of identity and energy like this is set to redefine you for a very long time to come, if not the rest of your life. And I don't say that lightly. We don't normally see a full moon like this and it represents a time when you know yourself differently than you did before. With energy like this, you come to see things in yourself that are powerful, that are focused, and that are truly and genuinely excited about your future. There is so much to look forward to here. There's a real sense that things can change very quickly and to your advantage. Uranus is in a part of the sky that has to do with luck and it has to do with happiness as well. And so I do think there will be many Capricorns out there who feel like some lucky break has found them. And yet at the same time, I feel like your priorities are set to shift. What matters to you most, what matters to you first, comes right to the surface in some way. And as a result, your pathway forward from here is set to be transformed. A full moon in your sign encourages you to be honest with yourself, perhaps admitting some emotional truth to yourself that you haven't wanted to before. It's just that this time, the truth that is revealed it strengthens you. It helps you to see yourself more lovingly. And that in turn creates a positive momentum that you'll carry forward from here. Now on the 28th of the month, we'll have this month's new moon. And that new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with wealth. It has to do with your relationship to financial institutions. It also has to do with Profound and meaningful change, profound and meaningful truth. Now, here's the thing with this new moon as well. It is going to speak in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Jupiter right now is at the foundation of your chart. And at the new moon, Jupiter will be standing still. So whenever a planet is standing still, gearing up to change directions, it is as close to the Earth as it is going to get. It is at the height of its power. And it is this Jupiter now at the foundation of your chart that is going to speak in supreme harmony with this new moon. It does suggest that whether it's a home-based business or working from home, that is a space of wealth for you now. If it is that you are reconnecting with people from your past, that can be part of facilitating meaningful change in your life. If it is that you are hoping to attract funding, for some new project that you believe will help you to transform your circumstances for the better, 
Chances are it's people that you have long running connections with or even family members that become part of helping you to cultivate meaningful wealth as you define it. Where it is that you're ready for change. The transformations you experience now, they reach right to your roots in some way. And if you are so inclined to think of it this way, it's almost like healing generational trauma that allows you to be more authentically you in this lifetime going forward from here. That is the tremendous promise of this new moon for you at this time. Now, if all of this wasn't enough, all this deeply transformative energy of the full moon, of the new moon, we have a very rare celestial event taking place to finish off the month. And this really is a once in a lifetime event that is set to take place. It is the North Node meeting Uranus and meeting Mars in fellow Earth sign Taurus. And so Uranus meets the North Node once every 16 years or so. And whenever they meet, they'll meet in a different sign. This time Mars is in the mix, so that's rare. But then you add the other element that this is in, fellow Earth sign Taurus. That's all part of what makes this once in a lifetime event for you. Now, when planets conjunct the North Node, the North Node serves as a gateway from which new people, places, things, situations enter that represent karmic blessings. And the blessings now are those that can come very quickly. They can seem rather dramatic, even shocking. The blessings that come now may not look like blessings on the surface. They may seem to be uncertain or shocking or uncomfortable even. And yet, it won't take too long for the blessing to be revealed, if that is the case. And so here we are. This is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with happiness. It has to do with luck. It has to do with your understanding of what you want in your heart of hearts in every area of life. Creative fulfillment, children you have, children you want. All of this is covered here. And I feel as I look at this, that there are going to be some Capricorns out there with the potential to go from rags to riches at a time like this. And I don't say that lightly. It becomes so important to cast your net wide because you don't know where that luck may find you and how that luck may find you, what that package is going to be that represents luck. Sure, it could be a lottery ticket. And, you know, as I like to say, don't bet the farm. Maybe you'll get that opportunity, which is great, to actually win something by betting a dollar. And yet, trusting your instincts, being calculated with that, is a form of practicing luck. Trusting your creativity, taking a chance on your creative vision, is absolutely a gamble that can lead to incredibly wild and important gains. Having a connection to what you want in your heart of hearts and knowing you can fulfill it, well, that may be the greatest luck of all. Your luck is going to be uniquely your own. Now, I would also add, in some cases, your fertility may take you very much by surprise. The children in your life may be a source of luck or be part of facilitating surprises in your life. All of this is possible now. Big opportunities based on your creative ideas, creative vision, or creative projects possible now as well. And so again, cast your net wide, strive to meet as many people as possible, especially as we move further and further into the month. I think before we even get to the later part of the month, you're already honing this sense of connection, of understanding that you are going to participate in your success. That's the full moon. That's already something innate in your sign. As a Capricorn, you understand that you can have anything you're willing to work for. And that's often what makes Capricorns more successful and however you might define success, makes them more successful simply because they're willing to put in the time and they're willing to put in the work. And so this is about your preparation that is already in place and especially at that full moon is truly honed and heightened paying off in a big way with opportunity as we get to the end of the month and as we dip into next month as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that energy at the end of the month absolutely 
could bless you in the context of love. Now you add the fact that it is on the 18th of the month that Venus will move into your opposite sign. And that tends to magnify love in your life as well. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, with Venus in your opposite sign, once we move past the middle of the month, well, that tends to bring with it opportunities with people who have long-term potential. The other layer, of course, is that meeting of Uranus, Mars, and the North Node in that heart-oriented part of the sky. Get your flirt on or surprise opportunities to get your flirt on may find you. And among that, a true heart level connection might find you as well. For those of you just starting to date somebody, what a remarkable time this is. Look, I love Venus moving into your opposite sign on the 18th of the month. Now, that's really nice for feeling as if you could be moving towards partnership. However, the energy at the end of the month is your moment of truth. Is there love here? Do you genuinely feel a heart level connection or not? The energy is one of ripping off a Band-Aid based on the truth you come to understand. And that energy is very all or nothing. What you see in this person as we get to the end of the month either will have you jumping in or realizing that you're going in a whole other direction rather quickly, perhaps rather dramatically as well. And for those of you in an established bond, what a powerful time this can be in established bonds. I think Venus is going to end up being a more dominant energy for you now. And with Venus moving into your opposite sign, it allows you to feel like your partner is that much sweeter and nicer towards you once we move past the 18th of the month and into next month as well. That energy of Uranus and North Node and Mars, well, your fertility may take you very much by surprise. So just keep that in mind. It's always up to you how you might want to direct some of that energy. But outside of that, that energy can be one of surprise heart awakenings between you and the person that you love. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here. My goodness, what would I choose from for you with such a consequential month? I'm going to say the full moon, even though that rare alignment of North Node, Uranus, and Mars is right there with it in terms of importance. It really is that full moon that will bring emotion to the surface. You're going to feel that energy that much more. With the North Node, a lot of what's happening at the end of the month, it's karmic. It's like its time has come. And it may not be evident right away how what takes place is part of opening up greater blessings in your life. But all of that will certainly be revealed in the fullness of time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com where you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. And thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.